Bridge River Otters, how are y'all today? So we're working on that California Young Reader Project. And last time I saw you, we read Alfie about a cute little turtle and her little owner girl. So that's the first choice for California Young Reader this year. And now today we're going to work on the second choice. And some things I want to point out are, first of all, all of them this year have a Lexile and some points you can earn if you want to just take them for fun or if it's your Lexile, just so you kind of keep in practice of reading and comprehension. So um, you may want to just try it for fun. Okay. So this is called Poor Louie and it's by Tony Fusile. And you might know that name because a couple years ago, he had one of these nominated books and it was about two boys that said, let's do nothing. And they found out it was really hard to not do anything at all. So this one's about poor Louie and you can see it's about a cute little chihuahua doggy and his name is Louie. So let's find out about this. And another thing about this author is normally we would start a book right here where it says poor Louie and it says the author's name. This author likes to kind of give us a little introduction before we get to that page. So let's read that. That's really kind of important. It sets the stage for the uh, story. Oh, hello. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here in the dark by myself with all this stuff. Oh, look at him. He looks a little sad. If you guessed that I tried to run away tonight, you're right. I did. Why? Well, that's a long story. I can tell you if you'd like. My name is Louie, by the way, or it was. Now they just call me Poor Louie. And that's where most stories start, right there, okay? So now we know. Let's find out about Louie's story. My life was great. Every morning started with a walk, rain or shine. Oh, he has a great life, it looks like. On Sundays, we would do fun things like go for a stroll in the park, eat ice cream, or go shopping. Pretty much every day of the week ended the same way. Dinner, and look, he eats right with his parents. And then a movie, and he gets to watch the movie with them. A kiss goodnight, and they kiss Louie. And then off we went to sleep. And of course, he's right on the bed with them. Pretty good life if you're Louie. Once in a while, mom and I would have a play date with her friends. It was great. Everyone paid attention to me. But then one day they started to appear. And you can see when you look at the book and the pictures, they tell you a lot. There's lots of ladies that have big old bumps on their tummies. And then there's some babies in the picture. And you can see that the babies are looking at Louie. Oh my, and that's new for him. First, there was just one, then two, then four. Oh, look at he's out of his mind with all these babies. They pulled on my ears and squeezed my tummy. Mom, oh, and they don't know, babies don't know. And so she picked him up and says, poor Louie. Yeah, I know. They smell good and they do walk on all fours. I'll give them that. But geez, all I could say was, thank goodness we'd never have one of those in our house. Yep, life was pretty perfect with just the three of us. Oh, looks like a great life for Louie. Then, let me tell you, things got weird. First, it was dinner. Cold on the floor. Oh, remember he used to sit right up here with them. And it says, poor Louie, right? He's on the floor now. I still had my walks, I guess, sort of. So they're kind of together and he's out on his own there. Bedtime wasn't fun at all anymore. And there he is on the bed and they're coming up with names. It says Packard, Pablo, Packard, Patrick, Paul, Peabody, Percival, Peter, Peyton. Over time, mom's belly grew and grew and grew until one night it kicked me. Boom! 
Oh my. So we all know now, even though Louie kind of doesn't know, she's going to have a baby and his life is starting to change, huh? And that happens. From that night on, I slept on the floor, just me and my food dish. Things couldn't possibly get worse, right? Wrong. One day, mom and dad came home with lots of new stuff. At first, it seemed okay. There were two beds, fun. Two hiking pouches, good, can't have enough of those. Two sweaters, cute. Two hats, okay, but wait a minute, I thought, what's that thing? So he's looking at a stroller. Two seats, and that's when it hit me. Uh-oh, poor Louie. So this is what he's thinking. There's gonna be two babies. Oh no, poor Louie. One of those creatures I could handle, but two? No way. Then mom and dad just rushed off and left me all alone. Not even a kiss goodbye. Well, that was the last straw. I got all of my things together and ran away forever. The coast was clear. I was on my way when, Louie, now how did you get out? I must have left the door open. Your mom and dad will be home soon. Back you go. And that's it. The end. My life is over. You can close the book now. Thanks for listening. And if you remember, that's right where he started. We started the story and he said, it's a long story, but I'll tell you. So this is his story. And this is where he says his life is over. So let's see what happens. So Lou, and there's mom and dad, and he's looking at them. Louie, meet your baby brother. And they're showing Louie to the baby. My baby brother, my baby brother. Poor Louie. And look, he gets to be part of things. That's why they got two of everything so Louie could be in their world. Okay.